Notebook LM just launched a bunch of brand new upgrades that make Notebook LM a hundred times more effective so long as you're using them the right way. Because now with Notebook LM, you can import notebooks directly into Gemini, you can use notebooks inside of Google Gems, and so much more. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know about all these new upgrades, how you could use them, and why this makes Notebook LM way more powerful. Notebook LM hack number one that I wanted to show you is that now you could use Notebook LM inside of Google Gems. So if you come over to Gems right here, you could see that we now have these pre-made gems by Google right here. But then if we scroll down, we have our regular Google Gems. What I'm gonna do is click on new gem right here, and we are gonna create a gem all about Yellowstone. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to name this the Yellowstone gem. And then the description for this is going to be this gem tells you all about Yellowstone. And now what we're gonna be able to do is actually come over here and craft this into a Yellowstone expert. Watch this. We're gonna put in the instructions right here, you are a Yellowstone expert. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on rewrite right here. And then what this is going to do is incredibly quickly actually go through and rewrite the custom instructions here to make them way better. And as we can see right here, this is a hundred times better. This goes through exactly what the system prompt is going to be. It goes through its different purpose and its goals. It goes through its behavior and rules. It goes through its expert guidance and it goes through how it should actually engage and what the overall tone should be. And it did that literally just by me clicking this button right here. Now, in terms of tools, what we're gonna give this access to is deep research right here. In addition to that, under knowledge, I'm gonna click on this plus right here and this is where this Notebook LM hack actually comes into play because we're gonna be able to click on Notebook LM right here and we're gonna actually be able to put our Yellowstone Park Show and Super Volcano inside of here. And guess what? As we could see right here, you don't actually see that this has access to this. So this is gonna be a custom knowledge base that this Google gem has access to, but the user won't actually be able to know that. And we can see that because if we come over here, we don't actually see it anywhere inside of here. In fact, the user could add their own notebook lab notebook if they wanted to inside of here, but they won't be able to tell that we added one on the back end, which is incredibly powerful because it is then going to be taking custom proprietary data that we have in that notebook LM. In fact, if I come over here into my notebooks, we could actually see exactly what is inside of here and see that this all came from a bunch of different sources. In addition to that, if we wanted to, we could build a bunch of things for it here inside of Studio. Now, this brings me into the next hack that I want to show you, which is that if we come over into Gemini and we just open up a new chat inside of just regular Gemini, you're now able to actually go through and click on this right here and you can now add Notebook OM files inside of here. And this is awesome for combining things. For example, I'm gonna click on Yellowstone right here. I'm also gonna click on this animal and geological disaster prediction. And what we're gonna do is please combine these two notebooks and turn them into a landing page that I can view inside of Canvas. So what I'm then gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and turn Canvas on. So this is pretty meta what we're doing right here. We are putting two notebooks in here that we can now access from inside of Gemini. We're gonna ask it to combine these two and then make us a landing page right here using the Canvas feature. And then what Gemini is gonna be able to do is go through, do that and create this Canvas right here. Another use case that a lot of people really like this for is to use this in order to create all these things over here. For example, you can create a guided learning out of this, which then turns your notebook into a guided learning. Or you could turn your notebook into a video with VO 3.1, or you could turn it into an image with Nano Banana right here. Because if we come back over into Notebook OM, we could see that we could make a video overview, but that's gonna be a video overview and not just one short video. Or we could turn it into a quiz, but that's not a guided learning. Or we could turn it into flashcards, but it's not a guided learning and an infographic is going to make an infographic but what if we wanted to make a cover image or something like that well now you can inside of this right here and we could see that this has now gone through and this has coded us up this website right here which combined both of these notebooks and this right here is absolutely incredible and 
I can't believe that it was able to do this in just a few minutes. And guess what? If we come over here, we could adjust whatever we want by adding in Gemini features into this website or by selecting anything and just asking it to change it. For example, I'm gonna select this right here and I'm gonna say, please make this bright yellow. And then what this is going to go through and do is this is very quickly going to come in here, edit this website, which is absolutely incredible that we can now access Notebook OM inside of Gemini, both in gems and just in a chat. We could see just like this. This has now gone through and updated this to be yellow right here, which is amazing. And if we wanted to, we could click on this deep dive right here and see all the research it's done. Now, before we get into the rest of the hacks that only keep making Notebook OM more and more powerful, I wanted to make sure that you knew how to do 10 hours of research in only 20 minutes by using Google Gemini and Notebook OM together. That's exactly why I partnered with today's video sponsor, HubSpot, in order to bring you a free guide that walks you through step-by-step -step exactly how to do this. And if you go to the pinned comment below right now, you could check it out today for free. My favorite part is where it shows you how to stack AI tools in order to create a complete research workflow. Because you really get the most out of AI when you stack multiple tools together instead of trying to silo a bunch of different tools. In addition to that, this resource is also going to show you one, how to do a week's worth of research in minutes, two, how to use AI to spot patterns that you would normally miss, three, how anybody on your team can become an expert on any subject matter in minutes, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pink comment below and grab your free copy today. Now, Hack number three that I wanted to show you is how you could actually use Notebook OM to be able to organize things incredibly quickly. And this is probably one of its most overlooked features. So if we come over here and let's say that we drop in some copied text, I have a bunch of meeting notes right here from a bunch of meetings that I had in the last week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna insert this. And then we're gonna see that this is all going to pop up. And what I'm gonna do is actually come over here and I'm going to get this to organize this. So I'm gonna say, please organize my meeting notes from the week. And then what this is going to do is this is going to take all the meeting notes that I just put inside of the source, and then it is going to come in here and it is going to revise this. And we can see that it went through and actually gave me this revised version right here. Now, what we can actually do with this is save this as a note, which is quite incredible because now I could come over here and I could take this saved note and guess what? I can actually convert this into a source. So now I have my saved note inside of my source right here. So now I have a new source that was just created from something that I gave it and then I adjusted it. Now what I can do from here is actually come over here into data table and I'm gonna tell this to please make my meeting notes into a table that is broken out by team, goal, what needs to be done, action items, and who needs to be involved. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to turn my meeting notes right here from the week into a table that is exactly like what I just described. And then what this will actually allow you to do if you use a studio over here is turn your meeting notes for the week or for anything into tons of different things. The ones that I find the most helpful is turning them into a data table, turning them into a slide deck, turning them into a mind map, or turning them into a report. And if we come over here and actually click on this, we could see how quickly this did this. And we could see this goes through who the team is, what the goal is, what needs to be done, what the action items are, and who needs to actually be involved. Now we could see that this didn't actually pick up on any names because there weren't any names in my meeting because my meetings are just me with a few team members. But if you had team members that were actually mentioned inside of your meetings, they would then show up here. And then guess what you could do? You could export this directly into a sheet and be able to share this on whoever needs to actually see it. Now, the next hack that I wanted to show you is something that I would strongly, strongly suggest that you go through and do every single time that you were doing something inside of Notebook OM. Let's say that I wanted to learn more about building out AI agents inside of Make. Here's how I would actually accomplish this inside of Notebook OM. I would come over here and I would say, building AI agents in make.com tutorial. And we're gonna do from here is we're going to grab this video right here because this is the longest video that actually has a tutorial on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this video right here we're then going to X out of this and we're going to create a new notebook here. Now, 
For the actual website, I am going to paste in this link right here. And then what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to actually create a source right here. And then what I am going to do is come over here into what the actual hack is. So we could come over here and configure the chat however we want. So I want this to be a learning guide and I want it to give me responses that are longer than usual. You need to make sure that you're coming in here and you are customizing every single time that you use Notebook LM in order to actually maximize the results that you're getting from this. Now for this specific tutorial, I am doing a learning guide. If you were trying to do something else, come under custom and then explain whatever you're trying to do. But I'm just going to click on learning guide right here. We're going to click on save. And then we could see that this now goes through and changes the prompt that's actually being used inside of Notebook LM here. And we could see that this now completely goes through and changes all of this. Now, what we want to actually make sure that we do also is use these right here because essentially what Google is trying to do is they're trying to anticipate what the next question that you're going to ask it is and what the next thing that you are going to try to learn is in order for you to learn more. In addition to that, if you haven't seen it yet, you now have fast research and deep research right here and you could get this to go through both the web or your Google Drive to very quickly pull in new sources into your notebook and help you make things that are incredibly powerful. And then that last hack that I wanted to tell you about is something that you've actually seen me do multiple times inside of this video, but I'm not sure if you've noticed. So let's go back to this Yellowstone right here. If we come over to all these different sources, we could see that we have several of them. Now, something that you'll notice throughout this entire video is I never came over to my studio and created anything like an audio overview or a report or a quiz or a data table using all of these sources. I would strongly suggest that you never do that. Instead, you only wanna use a maximum of two to three sources when you go to create something inside of the studio because if you use too many sources, it's actually gonna make a way worse version. For example, these audio overviews, they can't actually be that long. You could do a deep dive and go long, but that is then going to ruin the amount of context that it's taking from each of these. Because I want you to think about this. If we use long and we tell it to make it 30 minutes and we have 10 different things here, then it's by default going to take an even amount from each of those in order to actually give you that output, which is not what you want. The same thing with the video overview. The same thing with a quiz or with flashcards or with a deck. So what I would strongly suggest that you do is try to minimize these or at least try to combine them. So if you want something from all 11 of these, you should then combine that into its own source by coming through and doing something like, please take the most important three points from all of the sources and create one master source. Now, what this is then going to do is this is going to take just the most important points from this right here. And then we're going to be able to, like I showed you earlier, turn that into its known note, then turn that into its own source, and then use that sole source in order to create anything that we want to here. So this actually goes through and this pulls this out right here. We could then save this as a note, it shows up right here, come over here, convert this to a source, and now we have this new source that we could go through and actually create anything that we want from the most important point from all these different sources. So please don't get bogged down by creating things with every source that you have. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a ton of other use cases. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.